in fact this is the title and uh, The Indian retail sector has become a battleground for numerous organized retail players. According to the Indian Brand Equity uh, Foundation, as of 2018, India's retail sector is worth $950 billion and was expected to reach by $1.1 trillion by 2020 with organized retail sector and e-commerce gradually making headway. But in India, the traditional retailers, popularly known as the Kirana, the mom and pop stores, continue to dominate the Indian retail market, representing nearly 90% of India's retail sector. Top organized retail giants like Amazon, Lands, Walmart, Future Group, and others are actively trying to enter the retail space occupied by the Kiranas, the mom and pop stores, to dominate the Indian retail market using the latest technology, the modern shop floor arrangements, well-trained standardized sales team, and wider product ranges, along with several other strategies. Amidst this dominance of large retail chain brands, Chains, brands and smaller retailers also need to rethink and reimagine and restructure their business models for survival to optimize sales by connecting brands to shoppers through the powerful retail thinking. In other words, recharge brand juices and regain brand power. Now, it is important to rethink. Where do we create our sales? The arena. I mean, the battlefield, actually. In ancient Greece and Rome, we used to use this word arena often. Now, who are stealing the sales? The competition. Who is driving the sales, the shoppers? All these things have to be rethought. Now, brands and retailers will have to reimagine also, particularly about the product which they are selling, the product concepting, and how they're creating the retail impact. And of, when you are rethinking and reimagining, you need to restructure also. To address this question, brands and smaller retailers need to restructure, particularly how do we make communications work for our sales, creating communication, new way of communication, and how organizational enhancement can be done to empower the brands with, and small retailers to think sales. The arena, the starting point is the place where we play and it defines our strategy. It is simple as that. Levi's being sold in the store at Times Square Broadway and again being selling at a Walmart store. Starbucks fee, chain of coffee shops, king of the coffee arena. But in supermarket, it is just one of the SQs that is being sold. In Kolkata, I mean, Pluri is a hundred year old pastry shop, a very iconic store. Now have small stands in a hypermarket called Spencer. Brands like Lacme, L'Oreal, Mac, all have counters in local retail outlets. Defining the shelf, a synonym for the meeting place between products and shoppers. For Dell, shelf is the internet. For coffee, it is the high street. Where do we define our first moment of buy? Where do we want to activate our sales? Where do we get people to try? In West Bengal, people are predominantly tree drinkers. Uh, we have a geographical indicator branding of Darjeeling tea. Major purchase decisions regarding tea are usually made in the store. So where should the tea company CEO go? Stand inside the store? Who owns the arena? As I've said, again, Starbucks may be the king of coffee shops, but for a retailer, it's just one of the 40,000 SQs. Make a deal, not a war. Competition, a new term. A more cooperative situation between brands and retail stores. Both need each other. It's almost sleeping with the enemy. Levi's and Walmart. Levi's launched its low price customized jeans for retail chains. Everybody can cope it. Indian manufacturer brands and top designer brands are now involving retailers in issues like design, color pattern, and material. Raymond's, a top Indian company with have exclusive retail outlets, also have Park Avenue, the signature brand, uh, stands in major lifestyle stores. So now this is the arena. Now competition. Okay. Who is stealing the sales? You need to understand who else is present in your shelf. We are drowning in choice. 40,000 SQs in a supermarket and an average family gets only 80 to 85 percent needs from only 150 SQs, ignoring the rest, 39,850 SQs. And if ignored, replace. How does one steal the show? Three close related routes to serve as inspiration, building your business on the failure of everyone else, constantly out innovating in the competitive context, creating choice where choice has been forgotten. You know, traditional Bengali cuisine, which is getting lost amongst the new generation Bengalis, lot of Bengali cuisine, uh, pies hotel as they call, and fine dining restaurants have come become very popular destination now for the younger people. Copper bottles replacing plastic bottles for carrying water. Earlier, uh, in, uh, amongst the well-off, uh, they used to use copper utensils to serve food. 
glass bottles are becoming are coming back once again and in top hotel restaurants they're using glass bottles they have started already once again we are shifting back towards organic food you know marketers must educate themselves in the healthcare system everything connects now most doctors do not know about their patients being treated for the same problem in other hospitals challenge is how to capture this unstructured data and circulate to all hospitals also this data is supplied to medicine companies one attendant is following a doctor and is taking down the unstructured data unstructured data is now put in the network of doctors so use metaverse to solve the problem of customers rather than narrowing the physical world i have used it brought in a new term metaverse okay. the The, the metaverse, metaverse is a digital. digital... Hello, I, I think, think it's equally. Going... Okay, can you hear me now? Can you yes. hear me, sir? Yes. Okay, yes. wonderful. Yes. Uh, okay, fine. I just uh, get back. Extremely sorry for this inconvenience. Uh, in simple terms, metaverse is a shared virtual environment that people access via internet. Technologies like virtual reality, VR, and augmented reality are combined in the metaverse to create a sense of virtual presence. CEO of Facebook, Mark Zuckerberg, believes augmented reality glasses will eventually be as widespread as smartphones. Just imagine the days in which we are entering, and what will happen to your competition? The slide is not moving, sir. Okay, I'll continue. There is a problem in the movement slide. Please bear with me. Okay. Sir, Professor this Dash, you may just need to click on the second one. Ah, react, ma'am. Facebook, uh, somehow it got hang. Uh, Facebook, no, you Mark Zuckerberg uh, announced that. Dr. Dash, if you can click on the slides, left hand side. You know, whether all the slides is showing, just click on each of the slides. I'm sure okay. that that will work. Okay, fine. So let me go through this slide. Uh, in the metaverse, as, as Mark Zuckerberg said, that in the metaverse, you'll be able to do almost anything you can imagine. Get together with friends and family, work, learn, play, shop, create, as well as completely new experiences that don't really fit how we think about computers or phones today. In this future, you will be able to teleport instantly as a hologram to be at office without a commute and at a concert with friends and with your parents in their living room to catch up. So this is the reality. Now, who is driving the sales? Shopper, the shopper. Starbucks, we are not in the coffee business serving people. We are in the people business serving coffee. Starbucks is in the people business serving coffee, just as Coca-Cola is in the people business serving soft drinks. Gillette is in the people business providing them with a shave. Consumer habits are changing with a drop of a hat. A typical mom and pop Kirana store just cannot count on its customers being low income, price conscious. It is also about convenience, time saving and recognition. Can you count on your customer? It is a common sight now that in high-end apparel fashion brands or in Apple store, more than half of the people are teenagers. A father-in-law, 72 years old, loves his iPod and loves hanging around in Apple store. Downloading music, we all do that. Are we really bothered about the quality of the music? No. Why buy DVD if you can download a movie? Shoppers set their own agenda. It's all about children going to McDonald's for a happy meal. It's more about the toy than the meal. Welcome to the age of shoppers. We do not live in societies. We live in gigantic shopping malls. There's constant change of loyalties. Most of the B, C, 1, C, 2 preferred going shopping as a way of relaxing after a hectic week at office rather than visiting parks or relatives or be at home. People traveling 600 kilometers from the northern part of Bengal uh, to Kolkata to buy a Zara or visit Quest, which is a very high luxury mall. When the iPhone was first launched in Kolkata, a large number of people queuing outside in midnight outside the Apple store to shop first. Some important things, being in the people business first. Oxford Bookstore in Park Street, a bookstore or being a space. In-house coffee shops, topical readings, evening poetry readings, launching a book, a store or a social destination. Love shopping, shopping is entertainment. Even smaller stores have so much to offer. It is just not selling your products. Understand the touch points and what the shopper values. Needs are in control of the shopper, but what wants are in control of the retailers and brands. Take care of your customer. You have to give them their best shot each time. We, you know, we are now dealing with situators, not individuals. Situations are proving to be the focal point. The Copenhagen Institute of Future Science, the situator is defined as someone with a floating situation, defined identity. 
We live in a world of lifestyle zapping. A customer driving an Audi uh, argues with the vegetable monger on spinach in a local market. The same person visiting fine dining restaurant with family next day having lunch from a food cart outside his office. We just don't know. Now, the product. Everybody has a brand. Few have a product. The truth is behind every great brand, there's even a greater product. There is no just thing called power brand, only products that sell a lot. 1011 built Nokia. Roshogolla of Kesiras. Roshogolla built Kesiras. Wonderful suite, particularly from the eastern part of India. Walkman built Sony. Darjeeling tea. Very high quality tea. Known for its flavor. The best. And so that brand was built. Air Max built Nike. Three Leathers, a Kolkata company. Amazing shoes at extremely reasonable prices. Brands will not sustain sales and profits in the long run. Products will. And more importantly, they will continue to grow your business. The art of creating demand. Real demand can only be created through powerful, relevant, and revolutionary products, no matter how small or how big. Brand is never the solution. The product is only creativity, innovation, and real customer insight will help you to create the singular product that will generate the new demand you so desperately need. The Blue Ocean strategy also says on the same line. Out of 168 companies just reiterating, product launches concluded with that 86% of them were new variants of the existing products. And that accounted only for 39% of the total profit. Whereas the 14% of the product launches, which were actually innovative and creative, accounted for 38% of the total turnover and massive 61% of the profit. So just make it, you know, make it clear, clear and straightforward benefits, make an USP, make it stand out, make it again and again, make it more, make it sense, make it theirs. A lot of customization is coming in and do it in a manner so that they beg it. Now, here, this is a way of growth. I brought in branding and disruptive innovations. One, own a game-changing subcategory. The only way to grow, create a new subcategory that change customer what they buy. In all adaptive growth strategies, even the Blue Ocean strategy, it, doesn't, it talks about the product. It doesn't talk about the brand. So now create a disruptive innovation introduced in marketing plus ad branding. Exemplar, exemplar brands that represents and manages subcategory. Create your own subcategory. Position the subcategory. Make the must-haves prominent. For example, software in the cloud, nothing to buy and maintain, continuous upgrade, secure. And then, of course, for growth, scale, scale, and scale. Build a customer base. And how about the internet? Amazon, use social media. Finally, build barriers. Create a base of loyal customers, continuous innovation, moving target, branded innovation, and digital can make a game-changing thing. You know, now companies have to look at these technologies, the GPS, the IoT, AI, voice recognition, e-commerce. Now, how you create the impact? The moment of consideration is only three to five seconds. Great products don't exist in vacuum. Successfully integrating them into retail context and make the product happen in sales situation. It's easy to get a brand, but there is no guarantee that any one of them will be noticed. Consumers' attention is becoming very scarce economic resource. Creating relevant and involving shopping situations. You, you, your very success will depend on your ability to create actions well beyond your product thinking. Actions that will get shoppers excited, involved, and that create an impact at retail actions and create a meaningful shopping situation around the product. Fishmongers in the local fish market, the way they shout, the way they howl, it creates an impact. Hawkers in popular high streets of Kolkata, you know, you feel like looking at this, what, what they are selling. If now even smaller players have started using the social media to create that impact. Shoppers leave empty handed when nobody offers them a superior shopping experience. Nobody creates a want within them that they have to act upon. The future belongs to retailers and brands that proactively creates wants. Retailers and brands that are transforming, not involving and boring consumption situation to highly motivating shopping experience. Remember, as shoppers, we demand it. We want to feel the product working its magic even before we leave the store. Loyalty is declining. People are really loyal towards one retailer or any brand. The truth is that people are loyal to the shopping experience only, the focal point for buying. Only way to be loved is by giving love. Brands and retailers alike should start thinking on how they can show their love to people at the point of action. It is about loving the shopper and showing the love by making an impact at retail level. Nowadays, many stores take longer time to wrap than to buy. Now, how you communicate? You know, it's, it's, we are, we are, there's a lot of clutter. Macbeth, full of sound and fury, signifying nothing. We need communication. The question is how to create communication that makes shoppers excited to visit us, to buy from us. New modes of communication, privatizing, birds, subculturizing, communitizing. Privatizing generates trial. It is about encouraging instant loyalty from day one by providing potential shoppers with a real product experience that is about getting shoppers familiar with the new products by actually trying them out. Privatizing is just not giving free shampoo in magazines, but more radical and takes the art of sampling to a new levels of sophistication. Some 
think shoppers do not mind trying out and experiencing them. Car companies park in front of the high-end apartments, inviting test drive. Starbucks in Kolkata, I often visit, you know, often gives their customers for trial of any food or drink they're launching. I was there one day and they said, today is a tea testing day. And, and they were serving me tea and taking photographs. And it, it's a beautiful experience. Both try, allow, globally, they allow 30 days free of cost to test, try their music, I mean, sound systems. Privatizing, making, trying to make trial creative and exciting force it should be. Buzz, you know how this buzz word is the one best and the purest form in the world is to create the hype excitement and how to bring in that retail format so use this word verse Hun hundreds of the slim and Sin books were sold in the first 24 hours when it was banned actually right outside the stadium for tickets of ipl match hundreds of people waiting outside big bazaar a value retailer on republic day i'm subculturizing we have all talked about blogs now and you know they are providing a content to an existing subculture. Shoppers congregate in order to share their experience and discuss everything. We have food blogging videos now. There is a virtual landscape that consists of millions of unique subcultures. You know, influencers. Instagram reviews may be unbiased, but ratings and reviews are often overpromise. Advertisement as a tool has run its course. Social influencer, more authentic and more organic. Who is the influence? It is important. And how do you build your own customers to build your own word of mouth? Reevaluate how we use influencers in order to make it work. Communitizing. How you create a community. Communitizing is about creating a subculture around the shopping of your brand. I mean, shoppers simply do not fit traditional demographics anymore. Your business depends on the ability to support and enhance the shopping because it creates sales and loyalty. One of the key to future communication is to getting and keeping your future product fans to consciously build communities. You know, community of popular football clubs in Kolkata to blogs you can track where what is there in the shopper's mind. Create communities. Try to frame a discussion, persuasion. Many Indian companies, small and big, have started loving blogs. Unlike emails, blogs are open to the world. Encourage them to converse. Past communication was advertising and, and now email, website, social media. Digital content elevates contents. But the right content has to be created. Importance of strategic messaging. How do you break this clutter? There should be powerful stories, signature stories. Is and your people look at the authenticity of the story. It gains attention, distract from the customers arguing and create liking that has to be transferred. The stories play are very important. I'm, I'm skipping live because you have a shortage of time. In this world now, information is everywhere. Information clutter is there. So we need to be relevant stories. And of course, COVID had changed our lives. Meaning of life, what you should do, what you should connect with, what is the purpose of what we do. Now, brand risk in a digital era, obviously, starting from the age-old days of branding, when it started off with primarily with creative advertisement, promotion, implementation of the plan. But then brand strategy take to, started taking care of from the 80s, brand equity concept, I mean, size, implementation, value proposition. You know, now, so from short-term sales, we moved into brand equity, perception, credibility, loyalty. Then big data came in. Now, the biggest fear with big data is that digital marketing, AI, social uh, marketing is damaging the brands. The higher purpose priority of the brand is reduced. Short-term sales have become a priority. So we'll have to use it very judiciously. And now how you enhance your organization, how you empower them to think sales, to be a Coca-Cola, to be an Apple, to be an H&M, to be a Zara, a Louis Vuitton, or a PNG company should get curious, get creative, get producing, get everyone involved, get talking, get moving, and get connected. You know, curiosity kills a cat, but lack of curiosity will kill your company. All companies, big or smaller, now try to inject dialogue, dialogue with the customers. Strategy is creative. Creative is strategy. And creativity is required constantly at every level. Curiosity and creativity will help to create new and exciting products. It is the product that makes you or breaks you. Get everyone involved. You know, a whole company must breathe and live business. Everyone should be involved in becoming one retail-centric, shopping-loving, selling machine. In a Kirana store, it's usually the entire family which is involved globally, probably one of the best examples of such is Zara. Zara requires 30 days for identifying a trend and put it in their store racks. Zara designing team churns out 1,000 new uh, styles every month. Get talking. Develop a series of tools to communicate. A new theme to our key internal target audience. Ensure our multiple external stakeholders know what we are doing and planning. Roll out the message gradually and sensitively over time. Get moving. The biggest challenge is to be able to change fast enough to in response to a customer change that happens faster and faster. How do you continuously innovate, continuously reinvent yourself? Nokia, 
going from being a Finnish boot manufacturer to becoming the world's largest mobile company at one point of time. Speed, agility is everything today. The ability to move. No matter how hard you work at developing great products, there is a little point if you cannot connect them with your shopper. In reality, most organizations do a very bad job of selling. Situation demands new ways of thinking, which uh, lead to new ways of acting. Thank uh, you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much. I'm through, sir. Thank you.